hello there. I do like a cup of tea before the store opens in the morning. <laughs> Welcome to my bookstore. My nephew JJ runs the place. He wants to be a writer, just like his Uncle Willard. Now, anyone can write, you know. You can write about people, places, Adventure? You can write about anything. Oh, when I was alive, I wrote... Oh, didn't I tell you? I've been dead for over 30 years. Only you know I can move around. You can't keep a secret, can't you? You can write a poem or a storybook write an ad so people take a look You can write for you or for everyone You can write to be serious or just for fun You can write, you can write if you want to Yes, you can write, you can write anything You can write anything You can write anything That's J.J., my nephew. I wonder why he's so excited. Hello, Kate. It's J.J. Hi, J.J. Guess what? What? The publishers like my story idea. Great! They want me to go ahead and write a first draft. I'm calling it The Cat Who Thought She Was a Mouse. Oh, J.J., how did you ever come up with that title? I know it's weird, but, well, I got the idea from a dream I had. Oh, for sure. Well, the idea is the most important part of any story. Okay. Yeah, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, you'd be so proud of me, Uncle Willard. Look at me. Talking to a painting. Next thing you know, I'll be teaching ballet to the fish. Hi, Moby. Hello, Jaws. I'd better get to work on my story. He'll be a better writer than I was someday. He'll never be as good looking as I was, of course, but that... Uh, let's see how this one sounds. Shh. One thing about a story, it's got to sound good when you read it out loud. Right, Uncle Willard? Right, J.J. Okay, here goes. Old Yowler the tabby cat crouched nervously by the wall. Before him, a morsel of cheese sat temptingly in the trap. His eyes glowed in anticipation as he stretched out a paw. Emergency! Emergency! This ought to be interesting. Amanda, what's the problem? What's the problem? Yes, is something wrong? Is something wrong? There seems to be an echo in here. Didn't I hear you say emergency? I guess so. I've got to have a story by tomorrow. So? So? There's that echo again. So I need an idea. I mean, how can I write without an idea to write about? Amanda's got a point there. Writers do need ideas, but ideas aren't hard to find. If you look, they're all around you. People you see, places you visit, feelings you have, memories, you know, photographs. That's me, in a dress of all things. I know it looks silly, but they used to dress boys in dresses in those days. Yeah, there I am again. All dressed up to go someplace. I don't know where, but I was... Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away. Say, if Amanda needs an idea, maybe I could show her those pictures. Take another look at the idea board. That's what it's there for, to give writers ideas. Maybe you can find some inspiration. A domesticated quadruped 
of the feline family. Huh? Even a dictionary definition can give you ideas. What's a quadruped, anyway? An animal with four feet. Oh. If it had three feet, it'd be called a yardstick. <laughs> <laughs> Get with it, JJ. We use meters now. Here's a poem you might like. Cats by Eleanor Farjohn. Cats sleep anywhere. Any table, any chair. Top of piano, window ledge. In the middle, on the edge. Open drawer, empty shoe. Anybody's lap will do. Fit it in a cardboard box, in the cupboard with your frocks. Anywhere, they don't care. Cats sleep anywhere. You see, a simple poem. And all it tells us is where cats sleep. But maybe it gives you an idea for something else, like um, squirrels. How they run around everywhere, every place. You don't think I'm going to write about squirrels, do you? Yeah, I hate them. Oh, that's too bad. I know they'd love a nut like you. <laughs> and now, our writers write. When a cat moves, he moves gently and gracefully. A cat feels softer than a fluffy pillow. He even feels softer than a big stack of Kleenex. Usually when a cat meows, he makes you float off to heaven. A cat purr sounds like butterfly wings flapping in the air. A soft, cuddly kitten can also make a best friend. Hi, JJ. Hello, Amanda. Don't forget Uncle Willard. Hello, Uncle Willard. I like that Kate. She's a freelance magazine writer who really works hard. Maybe she can help Amanda with an idea or two. That was really great news about your story, JJ. Oh, thanks, Kate. What have you been working on lately? I'm doing an article for Wildlife Weekly on something called a Manx cat. All I know, though, is that they don't have any tails. Then I guess you can't call it a cat tail. <laughs> <laughs> JJ. Look, here it is. I thought this might fit the idea board for this week. You know, there's a new book about cats we got in yesterday. It might have something you can use. I'll go get it. Thanks, JJ. Are you really a writer? I sure am. Isn't it hard work? Well, it can be pretty tough. Don't you find it hard to get ideas? Sometimes. But I've learned to do two things. First, I try to be very observant and to think about all the things I see. For instance, last week I was thinking about bridges. I do a lot of reading, and I do research, too, and I always make notes. Later on, I check my notes over. Sometimes, though, I just let my imagination run wild. And then I start to write. I can't seem to get started. Here, Kate. Maybe this will help. Oh, thanks, JJ. I, I don't think I saw this one at the library. Oh, and look got three pages on Manx cats. I'll take it. Are you observant? Here's a little quiz. Was Kate wearing a scarf? If so, where was she wearing it? Well, let's find out if you were right. This may not tell me everything about Manx cats, but at least it's a start. <laughs> All right, the price plus tax is $11. Yes, she is wearing a scarf. She's wearing it under her collar. Can you see it there? How many rings was she wearing? Two rings. <laughs> I bet I got you on that one. <laughs> Oh, did we take care of the emergency? Not yet. I still haven't got an idea to write about. Miss Howard's gonna kill me. Then you won't have to worry about getting ideas anymore. Very funny. Come on, JJ, give me an idea. You can do it on your own. 
Read books, make notes. Be observant, right? Right. Just look around. Look around, look around at the sky, at the trees, at the ground. Look around, look around, look around. Take a look through a book that you have found. Look around, look around, look around. Make a note on every person, place, or sound. Be a writer, realize that you can get a big surprise if you just open up your eyes and look around, look around. Think what you can do with all the thoughts that come to you. Just write them up and make them new and look around, do what writers do and look. I could write about cats, white cats, rough and tough cats, my cat Misty having kittens. How about black cats? No, they're bad luck, like Friday the 13th. Looks like Amanda needs some help. I could write about superstitions. No. Boring. I give up, JJ. What do you mean? All my ideas are so ordinary. No one could care less about reading them. Don't be ridiculous. Take a look at that book right there beside you. Wow, where did that come from? It's by a poet named Sean O'Higgin. And he takes the most ordinary things and makes terrific poems out of them. The measles, the measles are coming. Eek! They're already here. They're on my chest and all the rest stare back at me from the mirror. My face is spots and I feel all hot. And I wish they would disappear, because I'm stuck in bed with my spotty head. And my friends aren't allowed to come near. And I moan and groan when I'm stuck at home. And I drive my mother mad. And when the spots are gone and my clear skin's on, boy, will she be glad. Sorry, Amanda. It's closing time. Oh, no. Now I've got to go home and try to work with my little brother bugging me. Well, why don't you write about him? That little weirdo? Sure. Why don't you write about how you feel about him or, or about something that's happened to the both of you? That would be easy. I'd call it Weird William. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great title. I got an idea. Thanks, JJ. I won't be killed after all. <laughs> Come on. Walk me to the bus stop. Now it's your turn. You could write about cats, or even your weird little brother or sister, or maybe even that mysterious lady with the envelope. And who is this man? Why is she giving him the envelope? Write about whatever you like. Remember, ideas can come from anywhere and everywhere. And you can write about anything. 